Here is how to train in a way that actually builds muscle according to science. Now that you understood what active mechanical tension and high threshold motor unit recruitment is. Now I'll explain you how we can practically make sure we achieve both these thing in every workout of yours. Mechanical tension comes from the load. So yes, using enough weight matters. So you need to choose a challenging weight and move it through a decent range of motion with control. And when I say control, I don't mean you should slow the rep down on purpose just to feel the burn. That's not the goal. You should try to move the weight normally without using momentum or bouncing. But if you are intentionally slowing down the rep, you are mostly using type 1 fibers. And those low threshold motor units don't really contribute much to muscle growth. And now comes the second part, the high threshold motor unit recruitment. But high threshold motor unit recruitment isn't just about the weight, it's about effort. It's something your nervous system controls and it only brings in the high threshold motor units when the muscle is being pushed hard enough. And the clearest sign that this is happening is what we call involuntary velocity loss. That's basically when your last few reps start slowing down. Not because you're moving slowly on purpose, but because your muscles are genuinely struggling and that's when you know you're recruiting those high threshold motor units. So to actually grow muscle, you need to make sure your sets are using a decent range of motion, pushed with proper intensity and taken close enough to failure so that you create enough active mechanical tension and recruit the motor units that actually drive hypertrophy.